hello you guys and welcome back to my channel so today we have a video that i've had a few people ask me to do so this is going to be a video on layering your fragrances y'all and these are going to be all my fall fragrances that i have been layering and y'all gonna want to stay tuned because when i tell you this is how you kick some of those fragrances up a notch, okay? So before we get started, you guys, go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to me and make sure that you are following me on Instagram. My name is Amber Chantel, spelled the same way. Make sure that you guys like this video. And if you don't like this video, you can go ahead about your business. If you are, um, you know, new to fragrances, layering is when you use two or three, you know, whatever you want to do. You use a couple different perfumes and you basically layer them on top of each other to get, you know, a different little aroma. Sometimes it's because I feel like it may be missing something. It may be, you know, I want some more longevity. It's, it may be a perfume I'm just not getting any use out of. I don't like it for real, but you can transform them so you don't be wasting your coin. So I'm gonna show y'all which ones that I have been layering. This Roberto Cavalli Deep Desire. Y'all know how I said, it don't really smell like a perfume for real. It just smell like cherry, cherry, like a, a cherry flavor, like a synthetic cherry. That's how this smells. And it's missing like just, just some deepness, just some composition of some other notes to make it more than just I, like cherry syrup that's how this smells like cherry syrup so what i have been mixing it with oh y'all and it smells so good i have been layering it with the agent provocateur fatal intense and this gives you like a little spice it has that kind of sexy licorice smell to it and it just kicks this up a notch like it needs it needs this to actually, I feel like, smell like a perfume. And it makes this one sweeter because this might be too spicy for some people. But if you layer like this on top, y'all, it smells so good. Usually when I layer, I put the perfume that's like the deepest perfume. It has like more of the base notes. You put that on first. Like if just a regular perfume, how the base notes go on the bottom, you do that first and then you put the other one that you want to be like, you know, smell on top of it, like more the top notes. Yeah, I usually do those ones on top. Ooh, y'all. Mmm. Now that smells good. That smells so good. See, this by itself, it needs something. It needs, this what it needs right here. That smells so good together, y'all. This is the Agent Provocateur and the Deep Desire. I have a nose to where I can just smell something and be like, this needs this. And then I'll just go in my perfume collection and then I'll pick out like exactly what I know will make it smell better. Yeah, and you know another thing about layering your perfumes? When you layer your perfumes, ain't nobody gonna smell like you. <laughs> I'm the type of person, I tell people what I have on. But, you know, you just tell them one. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got to give them the whole recipe or whatnot. They going to pick up that other perfume and it ain't going to be the same. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, baby. They ain't going to go out and buy both of them anyway. So, the next perfume is the C, Giorgio Armani C. And I like to layer that with the Armaf Studio Parfum Fiesta. <sighs> this really does smell good for real, y'all. Um, but you know what? I've had C for a long, long time. C is a very quality perfume. It's a quality, it's a quality perfume. But I've always felt like C was missing something. I've always thought it was kind of flat, like it just needed something. And let me see. So I usually, like, I put this on first. Put this on the base. Because it's deeper. Mm. I put this on top. Because this one has a lot of berries in it. Um, It's more, it's brighter. Like, it's, um, I feel like it's going to brighten the seat up. You know what I mean? That's what it does to it. 
gives us gives a little more pizzazz, more fruit. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh my. Ooh. I mean, you don't have to mix it with this if you don't have this, but mix it with something with like a lot of bright berries in it. Like this. Ugh, this smells so good. You know, I like Angel Muse, but I really don't ever reach for it. I don't get a lot of sillage from it. Um, so it's cool, but it's not like my favorite favorite. I like to mix it with the um, Roberto Cavalli Florence Amber. Now this has a lot of honey in it. So it's basically just giving the, just a little lather of honey like just all over this angel muse because you know angel muse has like chocolatey type of little notes to it um gourmandy type of notes and it has a lot of patchouli in it but this one makes it a little sweeter and i think that's kind of what i was looking for in the beginning anyway and y'all you have to spray the right one first or it ain't gonna be the same for real i spray the angel first and then i spray this florence amber oh that smells so good together. Mmm. And to be honest with you, I don't really wear this by itself. Because I feel like it's missing something. I feel like it's just all honey. And I don't really get much from it. But this together, these smell really good. Madonna, truth or dare, naked. This gives cognac. This gives sweet cognac, baby. And this, this gives fur coats coming to a bar and by yourself sit at sit down at the bar with your titties out and they all be sweating and want to buy you a drink that's what this gives you walk into a juke joint oh a juke joint yeah yep that's exactly what it gives you now this mariah carey is it's giving me mariah because it's like sweet but it's airy it's sweet and airy and this has like apple in it y'all and it reminds me of apple pie i put that truth or dare naked on the bottom when oh, i love me some mariah carey y'all i love mariah carey she's so extra she a diva and she deserves to be a diva too this gives me oh it just give you like a, a apple cider this gives you like an apple cider um but with some bourbon in it oh smells so good this is bomb i love these together i love this bottle for some reason it's just simple but it's cute i love the little butterflies butterflies <laughs> you know that's what people do when they be trying to hit the nose they do their finger and it still don't be helping this is the guerlain um mon guerlain yeah, Mongolan by Guerlain, and then I mix it with the insolence. Dre love this insolence, y'all. Mm. But, you know, Mongolan is one of them ones. You know, it's lavender, and it's sweet, and I like it. But I just feel like it need a little, it be need a little something, something. I'm going to spray the insolence first on this one. Because insulin smells like some candy to me. It smells so good. I mean, it's a little powdery, but it ain't real powdery like how people think insulin is. It's more candy to me. That's the EDT. It smells so good, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm mixing it with this. That smells so good together. They are bomb as hell. So, yeah, if y'all have those two together, try them out. Bet you you would like it. I have a feeling that with the Guerlain fragrances, you can layer a lot of those because they kind of have some of the same notes and qualities to them. This Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Assoluto. Now let's talk about this for a little moment because y'all know I'm, you know, straight gung ho Gemma Paradiso. And when I bought this, you know, I bought this afterwards and I'm like, this ain't nothing. This is just all vanilla. It's not. But you got to wait until the, the seasons change because this smells different to me. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It actually has some citrus and freshness to it that I did not smell at first. At first, it was just vanilla. That's all I smelled. Just, just vanilla. So what I mix it with is the 
Chopard Wish. A lot of patchouli and caramel and it has a lot of different notes. It, it smells kind of like Angel. When I mix these together, like, because actually this has vanilla in the base, but it actually has a lot of citrus in the top. And I feel like it gives this some freshness to it. It smells so good. I love how this smells. Oh, you get the, I mean, you get that patchouli in the bottom and you get the, um, some of those sweet, you know, vanilla and gourmand notes, but you get that freshness. That's what it needs. It almost smells a little green, but it got picking up that little, uh, grapefruit that's in the top and citrus. Baby, that's, that combination right there. <laughs> All right, so the next perfume that we have is the Roberto Cavalli Florence. Oh, she's sexy, y'all. She is sexy. And I layer that with the Midnight Rose. You talking about a sexy combination. Midnight Rose has a lot of, well, rose. But it has a lot of berries. But this one has a um does have a lot of patchouli in it. And it kind of just gives it 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 just gives it some more depth to it. Oh, this is sexy. But when you mix it, baby. Oh. That right there. <laughs> you talking about sexy. That's bomb as hell. Mm, gives this a little more earthiness to it. So it's not so pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like I'm here. I'm I have arrived. That's what that's what this gives the uh midnight rose. Mm-hmm. Now my last one I had to save because oh, it's so damn bomb together. It's just so bomb. And it's newly found. Because this was in my last video. This Lolita Limpica, C Lolita. Oh, that Minuit with this Versace Crystal Noir. Because y'all know this has coconut in it. This is sweet. So, oh, y'all, when I tell y'all, you spray this first, this Versace Crystal Noir. Now, I've always thought that this was missing something. You know, that's why I don't really uh, mention it much because I don't really wear it that often. Like, it's not bold enough. That's how I always felt about it. But this is what makes it, it gives it that edge. This is... This is very spicy, you guys. It's an oriental. It's spicy. It has um, orange, like mandarin in it. Baby, that's something else. That's something else. I let Dre smell this. He was like, oh, what's that? I was like, just a little, just a little combo platter that, you know, I put together with combination plate you know this makes like the perfect fragrance together like for real for real all right you guys so that's it thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys got some good suggestions for the fall you know sometimes you just want to smell different get tired of wearing the same stuff and this way you can play with different notes together and whatnot whatnot thank you for tuning in and Make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram, y'all. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.